Good morning. I wanted to talk a little bit about energy monitors or appliance energy monitors, which these are. Uh, these measure the power consumed by individual electrical appliances as opposed to uh, that drawn by the whole house. Um, and uh, I've accumulated seven of these things over the years and I've now found what I believe to be state-of-the-art, uh, the best one as far as I'm concerned, and that's this one. And this is uh, branded Energini, although I wouldn't um, worry too much about the branding. I've got a feeling this might be a UK specific brand. It's almost certainly manufactured in China and uh, so in different parts of the world it may be branded with a different brand name. Um, this one has all the features which I consider to make a good energy monitor. It has battery backup. If I press a button you can see it comes on there. Um, the batteries on this one are actually replaceable. The little uh, cover at the top there takes two of the AG13 button cells. Uh, in many cases you've got, uh, say this one's very similar looking, uh, it's also battery backed. If I press one of the buttons you can see it lights up but there's no battery compartment. So this one has an internal rechargeable battery. Um, but going back to this one, in terms of identifying it, um, probably the easiest way are the two little cutouts. Do you see on the uh, centre buttons there, the corners are cut away. That's uh, one identifying feature. Also, if you compare the displays, uh, this one has two lines running across it, even when it's not powered up. And this one has the two lines, but they only appear when I press the... Uh, one of the buttons to uh, to power it up. So what I like about this one is it fits into a category of precision, what I call precision appliance energy monitors and if you look the first three, these three, all fall into that category and what I mean by precision is that they can measure down to a fraction of a watt with some accuracy. I mean I can't say that they're absolutely precise, but at least they do measure uh, down to one decimal place in terms of watts. The four behind all seem to fall into a category of much less accurate, particularly the low watt end of the scale. So when they get down to about four watts, they sit there and then the next lowest reading is zero. So if something's drawing, say, half a watt, the monitor's going to show it as four watts, and of course, if you accumulate that over time, you can rack up quite a quite a, an amount of imprecision in terms of uh, watt hours or kilowatt hours. Okay, so going back to the Energini uh, device, this um, for UK people, this is the UK version. Uh, around the world, you'll have a different insert here. Um, but for UK, Amazon Co. UK was the source of this. It was only £9.75, and that's with free shipping. So it's very good value. But what I like about it is that if I switch it on, you can see that you've got, it's very difficult to see actually, but you've got watts down here on the bottom, and you've got kilowatt hours, or accumulated watts, uh, up here. And uh, it's kilowatt hours to three decimal places and what's nice about that is if you treat that decimal point there uh, at the beginning as a comma then you can look at that as being watt hours so it's 1230 watt hours or 1.23 kilowatt hours and having watts and kilowatt hours on the display at the same time means that I'm rarely changing modes, I'm rarely having to press buttons to see what's being consumed right now and how much has been consumed over time. The third piece of information on the display is a real-time clock. So that 12.29 tells me that it's actually half past 12 in the afternoon right now. Uh, not a great fan of real-time clocks. Seems a bit pointless on a device of this type. Uh, I can 
find out the time from pretty much any other device, so why it would need to be on here, I don't know. Far more useful, I would say, to have a, uh, an, an accumulated time clock, uh, cumulative time, so that you can see how long the unit's been plugged in. And this does actually have one. If you press uh, the clock button, you can change it from a real-time clock to an accumulated time clock. So you can see it's been on for one day, 14 hours and 27 minutes. But what's strange about this is that it stops the clock when the power usage drops below a certain threshold. It's quite low, it's about 2 watts. And the idea is that it's telling you the accumulated time that the item plugged in has been drawing power. And to me that's rather strange. I'd rather prefer to know the accumulated time, the cumulative time, um, that the unit's been plugged in. So you can just get a very quick average. How much power is this using every day or every week? But uh, this one and its stable mate, this one, <coughs> seem to stop the clock. Uh, whereas this one here, mm, no brand on this one, does exactly what... Uh, I think it should do. Unfortunately this one doesn't have battery backup so I can't power it up. And that is that the clock just runs continuously so it's simply telling you in days, hours and minutes how long it's been switched on since you plugged it in.